With roots that date back to 1907, St. Peter's University Hospital is one of the few remaining Catholic hospitals in New Jersey. Based in New Brunswick, the nonprofit acute care hospital provides a full scope of adult medical and surgical services. Children's Hospital at St. Peter's University Hospital offers a full range of specialized pediatric health care services for newborns and children. In 2018, the hospital installed a 2 megawatt combined heat and power plant powered by a CAT G3516H generator set fueled by natural gas. A majority of the project was funded by a federal energy resiliency grant. The whole key premise behind the whole project was that, hey, resiliency, how long could we live without, uh, if we had to live off the grid? And that's the reason we do what we did. The Caterpillar Cogen plant is absolutely a game changer for us in terms of responding to natural disasters. I've had some personal experience with uh, Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Irene and Superstorm Sandy uh, before I got to St. Peter's. And in each of those disasters, one of the common elements was generator failure. And during a natural disaster, when you go on generator power, much of your uh, operating uh, function in the hospital is changed and it's limited. But the Cogem plant does give us the ability to operate under normal circumstances. It is a substantial game changer. Now having a CHP project, uh, we're now able to be 24-7. We don't run on limited service in anywhere in the organization. So our ORs, all of them are operational as opposed to just generators. We would only have two operational. That makes things much easier for emergency medicine. We become the refuge for the rest of the state. It really, in a sense, become a, uh, a bedrock project that gives us that ultimate ability if uh, we needed to function during the course of a disaster, we can. CHP has given St. Peter's an extra level of resiliency because it burns a, a different type of fuel instead of diesel compared to natural gas. Diesel was hard to get during Sandy, so this really kind of strengthens us during a situation like, like a bad hurricane where we can go on island mode and it's good for this place. Ultimately, all of these initiatives that we've undertaken, including the uh, Cogen plant, has helped us to keep our energy costs among the lowest, if not the lowest, of any hospital in the state of New Jersey. We're saving hundreds of thousands of dollars because of the Resilient Energy Project. The key element is the fact that five days during the year when power is at its peak, and usually the summertime, at the peak times, we're using less. Using the waste heat from the plant and as well as the jacket water, we've reduced the load on our boilers by approximately 20 to 25 percent and given us a, a lot more capability or capacity if we were to need it. Foley Power Systems has a customer value agreement with St. Peter's. With this, we provide routine equipment service and generator overhauls. We remotely monitor their generator set, heat recovery, and other process CHP equipment from our facility. By doing this, we can be very proactive and efficient with our parts and service deliveries. Most importantly, we can maximize our customers' equipment uptime and performance. St. Peter University Hospital has a, such a great relationship with Foley and Caterpillar. It's based on that, hey, making a phone call and getting someone out there the next day or that day, depending on what the situation is. Their understanding on how critical it is for the hospital or to the patient care, knowing that hey, people are not going to be in the dark at St. Peter's University Hospital.